Okay, we are now live. Hello, everyone. My name is Dr. Emma Shapiro. I am going to be your alternative career coach and host today for the show. I'm here with the Newgate team, Benga and Jordan, and also some amazing clinicians here. We've got Kim, Kathy, Stephanie, and Martin all going to share their story on how the Newgate Harness has really helped transform their patients' lives. So without further ado, I thought it'd be helpful to quickly recap our last webinar with them, show you a short video of the Newgate Harness, just so you can recall what this harness is and its amazing ability to help so many people. And then Benga and Jordan will dive a little bit further into the harness. Welcome everyone though. <laughs> Thank you. Thank awesome. you. Thanks. And everyone say hi. So if you're in the comments, uh, please, you know, give a shout out, give some thumbs up, give some hearts, because this is a really cool device that you're going to be amazed at. A new rehab device is changing lives in physical therapy and possibly impacting those with debilitating diseases. They said I was never going to run, and I'm running. The first day they put a new gate on me, I immediately felt, I felt my leg again. An invention geared towards athletes has inspired a new tool for physical therapy throughout the UP. TV6's Nicole Buckman has more on the life-changing new gate device. Improving therapy outcomes and restoring hope to patients. The new gate is a patented wearable harness system comprised of shoulder straps, a waist belt, and limb straps, all interconnected by strategically placed elastic bands. There is a point where I just wanted to stop and give up. The new gate kind of gave me that hope again. A patient introduced me to the new gate. It clicked right away that it would make sense. I've been using it with patients on a regular basis ever since. We're a team who cares in a way that is maybe unique for this day that we live in. And there's something within me that is really fulfilled by working on this project and watching what it can do. Awesome. Thank you everyone for watching that quick recap and replay of the new game harness and what it can do. You're probably wondering, oh, like what is this webinar about? So Benga and Jordan are amazing creators and athletes themselves and uh, healthcare professionals in a way themselves as well. And this, this harness it has been a journey for them to create. And so you can listen to this as professionals learning about the creation of maybe your own ideas and how they're going about helping people with this amazing harness. But you can also listen to today's webinar as healthcare professionals that can potentially use this harness to really help your patients further. So um, Jordan and Benka, thank you so much for coming on tonight. Um, I'm really excited to go over the harness in more detail. So uh, without further ado, um, take it away. <laughs> Thanks, Emma. Oh, we're, we're really excited to be on. Uh, this is our second time on, and, and we had a really great time the first time just kind of getting um, the, the Newgate really introduced to uh, your community and your fans. And so we're, we're really excited about that as well. Yep, thank you for having us. It's a great platform to, to spread uh, the device that we've made. I've um, been watching some of the other podcast shows that you guys have as well, and you guys do a great job. Thanks oh, for thank having you. us. <laughs> and I, I do want to make one correction, though. You know, you had said that we were, you know, the or alluded to that we were the sole inventors. And while you know we helped create the original concept of the new gate, uh, we actually we couldn't have done this without our clinical team, uh, with two of them being on right now, Kim and Kathy, and they have really taken it to another level from what we had developed. So just a quick um, recap, Jordan and I both have a track and field background, and we developed a product originally dubbed the Speedmaker to help athletes run faster. The concept behind that was uh, with resistance training and in particular elastic bands on the front part of the thighs, that would provide resistance to the hip extensors, thus strengthening them and allowing an athlete to run faster. Now, if it weren't for our clinical team, Kim, Lynn, and Kathy, uh, t really taking that initial prototype, initial um, speed product to another level in the rehab field and, and actually taking it from that speed product and incorporating it into a physical therapy environment and 
and really, as I mentioned, taking it to another level. So, you know, we wouldn't be Newgate if, if it weren't for our clinical staff. Um, but before, and you guys can see them right there. Mm -hmm. That's Kim Springer and Kathy. Um, and I know Kim would, would love to kind of talk a little bit more about uh, the origin story and just how she first got the Speedmaker and started using it on um, her initial patient. But before we get into that, I, I, we've got a couple of guests on here and I really want to get to them first. Uh, we've got uh, Stephanie Reed and Martin. And so Martin is actually one of our Newgate ambassadors. Uh, he's uh, one of our in, uh, independent sales reps. And then Stephanie is a clinician, a PT, uh, retired, who has reached out to us. And uh, she was just very, very interested in the Newgate. And um, she's actually doing the 30-day trial right now. And um, both of them have um, been able to use it from a, you know, the clinical standpoint and have seen some pretty interesting results. And so we really wanted to bring them on as um, sort of a non-biased person or people to just tell about their story, you know, and just tell about how the Newgate has um, uh, either impacted their lives or what they've seen the Newgate be able to do to people close to them. And so awesome. um, I'd like to maybe uh, kick it off uh, with you, Martin, and just, you know, tell us a little bit about yourself and how you um, came to know uh, get to know about the Newgate and um, what the Newgate possibly has done in your life. Sure. So my name is Martin Schneckenberger. I'm a physical therapist, been a physical therapist for 20 years. And uh, in the summer of 2020, I stumbled across the Newgate and it literally blew my mind. And so um, last summer, August 5th, 9th and 16th, Last year, my seven-year-old, now seven-year-old, had three brain surgeries, and that was to help control her epilepsy. And so after her surgery, the last one, she was unable to move her right leg and her right arm. And so as a therapist, you know, being at the hospital at UCLA, trying to initiate walking, it was a lot of holding on to different body parts, trying to facilitate things to happen. And it was extremely challenging for not only the therapist at the hospital, but me being her dad and, and an aide to the therapist. And so when I saw the new gate, I mean, the light bulb went off. I was like, oh my gosh, that's exactly what my daughter needs. Because my daughter had been using an AFO for drop foot, but the AFO was very uncomfortable. And she kept tearing through the straps because she kept wanting to go at 100 miles an hour even though her body wasn't ready for that. And so when I reached out to Newgate and to Kim in particular, who helped me set up my daughter, Ava, with the Newgate system, it was an amazing thing to see. Just the control, the ease at which she was walking. We, I never did any kind of timed up and go, but the, uh, the quality of her walk at this point is so much better to the degree now that we've been using it since June, uh, there are many days where she will walk around the house without any having to wear it. And you're seeing the carryover. So it has blessed our lives so much that that's why I have become an ambassador to help other people learn how to use it. Thank you, Martin, for sharing that. You know, um, I want to I want to say it's so funny that you're using this as an AFO because um, that's actually exactly what I have in mind for someone. I haven't gotten the um, Newgate yet. I'm working on that uh, where I work. It's a little bit slower, lengthy process. Um, but I'm thinking the same thing. The patient that I have, he has sort of this. Uh, because of all his hip surgeries, he's externally rotated and he has a uh, weak hip, hip flexor strength. And so I'm, I'm wanting it for an AFO. And what I really think is great about the Newgate is that unlike an AFO, which has to like fit in your shoe, it, it works differently like that. So it's a lot more comfortable because mm -hmm. those hard plastic AFOs, I'm, I haven't worn one, but it just doesn't look comfortable. Um, but 
you know, those don't really make room for someone who maybe has lymphedema, who maybe has right. swelling that is changing foot, um, you know, circumference all the time. And so with the harness, it is much more um, amenable to that. So that's exactly well, actually, in, case in addition to that. Yeah. The cool thing about it is when you wear an AFO, it kind of it, it allows you to be supported, but it doesn't really elicit change. What we have seen over and over and over again with it, and, and again, that was a little fluke of us kind of discovering it, but is that people who come in who need an AFO, if we have them wear the new gate, just as the AFO part of that for, um, I had my first guy I tried this on was a guy who had had uh, spinal surgery and he had dropped foot afterward. And he was like a 28 year old construction worker and very unhappy with dropped foot, very frustrated. So I said, you know what? Why don't you just take this? He didn't have an AFO. I said, why don't you just take this thing home for the weekend and just keep using it? And, you know, it woke that leg, that foot right out, back up. Mm -hmm. And not so you're not just supporting something, but you're you're giving it this feedback over and over and over again. And it actually just makes it to the point where so many of these people no longer need an AFO after using this as an AFO device. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Well, well, for me, as a, as a physical therapist, I sometimes hesitate to give an AFO like right after someone has, say, had a stroke, because I want to see, will that muscle regain function? You know, will, and, and so I want to actually use the muscle and challenge the muscle, even if the gait's not as good. And so I actually sort of postpone that. But with the new gait, I probably could start using that right away because it's more of active assist versus the passive AFO. And so I don't feel like I have to choose one or the other. I can have that uh, assistance and also have that active assisted range of motion. Exactly. And I think that's the key because again, the AFO sometimes ends up being more like a casting system. It kind of leaves you stuck in one plane, one position. Yeah. And at least with the new gate, and I think the, 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 the big word is, is facilitation it literally starts to, to get the ball rolling for people to get the feeling for the muscles to get awoken from whatever, like in my daughter's case, the brain surgery, you know, it, it could be from literally anything, but it is so much more, it, it's easier to use. Like for her being seven, I mean, we've gone through two shoe sizes already because yeah. she just keeps growing, you know? And so with the new gate, I don't, all I do is just open the, the elastic band a little bit. You know, it's not like, we would have to drive 40 miles to the orthotist to go get it fixed again. And it was like, this, this is just a waste of time. Yeah. On top of it, ruining the shoes, right? Exactly. <laughs> I might add too, but the beauty of it is well beyond just the dorsiflexion assistance oh, that this course. will give you. For someone that has also hip weakness or pelvic instability, the whole unit will dramatically change the facilitation of hip flexion. Sometimes, too, what's lost is the put toe off moment where that power comes through from the gastroc. So you can initiate that in a way that rekindles a muscle spindle firing. And it's as if this perpetual motion helps to re-stimulate the pathways lost that helps find them again or reestablish new pathways to restore the motion over time. So when you look at the person, you know, look at all the components that you might try on them because you can really stabilize gait quite dramatically. If you remember back to our clip, we had our uh, woman walking outdoors with a bit of a Trendelenburg gait with just a toe lift, you weren't correcting the bigger picture of the hip instability, but by putting her in a whole unit, her whole stabilization changed. And so that was quite a dramatic improvement and function for that individual. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I think you're exactly right. I mean, as as therapists, OT, PhD, you know, whatever type of therapy it is, you know, w you know, our our goal is to try to look at the body as a whole, and so that's the nice thing is is an AFO. Um, and sorry to rag on only the AFO. <laughs> I need to like go anti AFO. Um, I love the AFO. It's got its purposes too. But the, it, this is just where my patient case uh, use cases. But you're exactly right. The AFO is solely um, addressing one part of the chain versus the new gate. You know, we we give them that active motion at the ankle, but then also at the knee and also at the hip. Good point. Excellent point, Kathy. Excellent. I'm sorry, Benga and Jordan. I t 
took it off. Uh, really, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> this is all great stuff. All really. Great stuff. <laughs> I'm trying to find a, a like. Um, I'm on your website really quickly, trying to find the harness in case people want to know, like a little bit in slower motion, what it can look like. But do we want to go to the next person while I get like a good picture of it? Yeah, you know what? I've, I've actually I pulled up a, a pretty good video as well. Okay. Um, let's. I know we like we've been talking about it, and we showed that that one video at first. But let, if you don't mind, you know, I'd like to maybe just show this quick video so that people could maybe get a, a better look at it. Let me see. I actually have never. Let me see if I can give you screen share. One second. Do. Oh, I or I can send you a link to it. Yeah, if you could send me that link, thank you, Benga. Um, yeah. And uh, let's see. While we're waiting for that, um, oh, perfect! I got it right here. Give me one quick second. While we're waiting for this, who was inspired by that conversation? If you're listening right now, or if you're listening on the replay, what questions do you have about the harness? You know, we have this like amazing. Uh, you know, five, six people on right now to really like dive deep into this harness, dive deep into the anatomy, dive deep into the use cases. So if you have any questions, like pop them in the chat, or if you're being amazed by this cool technology and this cool harness, um, show some love too. We, we appreciate love too. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Well, should we, should we get into, um, the next next yes that we have. Or do you Stephanie? want me to share it? I can share it right now if you want to. Okay, if you're ready, yeah. Okay, does anyone see the YouTube video? Yes, we see it. Okay, perfect. Oh, could you, could you drag it to the front, the beginning there of it? There you go. There we go, perfect. We don't have any sound. No sound? Okay. It shows us putting the harness on, helping her with the waist belt. Many individuals, once they're trained in its use, can do the harnessing themselves. No sound. <laughs> oh, when you share a tab, you got to click on uh, share audio as well. I, have to do share I learned audio the hard well. one last time. Okay. Sorry, guys. To get out of this wheelchair, and I want. There we go. Now I think it'll work. It's been it's been life changing for me. The first time I ever put this on was three weeks ago, and it wasn't twenty minutes. Maybe I had it on. Correct, man. It was like night and day, night and day. My body was like, I remember this. <laughs> this is what it feels like. I walk like a normal person. Because I have to think. I had with, without all this and without this training, I literally had to focus on my feet so I can talk. And I don't have to do that anymore. <laughs> it's amazing. That was my goal when I got put in a wheelchair at 25 was I want to get out of this wheelchair and I want to live a normal life so nobody goes, oh, I'm sorry, ever again. And I've done really well by myself, but this just took me to, the goal I had with this was to not fall on stairs or not even be worried about stairs anymore and not fall anymore, period. And I haven't fallen in three weeks since you guys originally hooked me up with it.
Love, love it. I love it. I stop thinking. I just stop thinking and walk. Oh. I love that. That's honestly really share some love for the amazing transformation that Rebecca had there. Wow. That's just amazing. And shout out to Kathy. Um, because I know that definitely in addition to this amazing progress was your hard work. Um, so um, amazing transformation there. Wow. Actually, Rebecca was involved in a study that we did with Northern Michigan University. And we uh, had 21 MS patients that we took through a six week trial. Uh, half of them uh, did the whole protocol with the Newgate and then the other half did it without the Newgate. So we could see, so just watching that video so makes me laugh because she was bigger than life, you know, mm -hmm. always. And it was just a delight to work with all these MS patients and, and try to see, you know, what kind of change we can make in their quality of life. and. Even today, I'll go into the grocery store and see people walking around with a new gate on who had been in the study, which is so, you know, that's that's why we're all into therapy, right? To, to improve function and and restore livelihood to people. So, um, yeah, that was so fun, right, Kath? To just look back at that video now, it's probably about two years since we worked yeah. with Rebecca. And I have no doubt that she is still, after she got the new gate, she actually moved into an apartment that took 16 steps to climb to get into her apartment. Like, who does that? <laughs> Except for Rebecca. So she wanted to challenge herself every day so that she had to climb those stairs. So she actually picked an apartment on the second floor. Wow. Wow. Oh, well, she sounds like an amazing, amazing person just to She's overcome fun. all of that. And thank you, Kim and Kathy, for all of your hard work with that. And oh and God. I know that she sounds like a blast, too. I want to go hang <laughs> out with her. It was so cute at the end where she's like, I just go. I don't have to think. I just go. And I think that's the beauty of something like this is if we can give someone something that's simple, um, that they can use every day, that they're not going to have to think about and that's going to transform their life, wow, then that's something that like has to, we have to have and we have to use. And, and so that's just amazing. I'd um, like to introduce Stephanie now because yeah. I am so enthralled with Stephanie having come into our lives. And I would love for her to share her story of how she discovered this, please. There you go. Hit it off, Stephanie. <laughs> All right. Well, I am a retired physical therapist. I worked for 40 years and never got tired of seeing the patients, but I got very burnt out on the documentation. And my husband strongly encouraged me that my time was done so that he could stand to be with me in the evenings. But um, I had been reading Meredith's uh, blog on the non clinical PT just out of interest and. I saw on um, one of her posts where she uh, talked about, uh, you know, possible jobs with the new gate as far as sales risk, which I had no interest in being uh, selling anything, but I was interested in the device. And when I looked it up and, and honestly, what grabbed me was the dorsiflexion component because you didn't have to wear an AFO inside your shoe that it was all outside your shoe so you could be comfortable and wear a shoe that did not have to buy a bigger shoe to fit the AFO in um, was very intriguing to me mostly because I had a sister that had had a heart transplant in January of this year and then five days after that she had a severe uh, brain hemorrhage which affected her vision and balance and proprioception and strength on the left side just and she was um an in inpatient rehab after the hospital for like six or seven weeks and when she left there she was wearing a fixed afo with two heel lifts to control her record bottom of her left knee and uh after that covid hit and she, her outpatient plan was stopped and I was going 
to Kansas City to see her a, a couple days a week and, and working with her. Um, and then after that, when we realized how bad COVID really was, we were afraid she had too many caregivers. So she went back to her own home in the Lake of the Ozarks with no outpatient therapy. And uh, so no one saw her at all for several weeks. And now she's in outpatient therapy, but during the time that that I didn't see her or anyone else, she threw away her AFO, threw away her walker and her cane, and was just holding on to her husband, which was very upsetting to me because her gait pattern was terrible. But um, she was eventually able to start outpatient therapy there. And soon after, I discovered the new gate, and somehow I was fortunate enough to um, have Venga decide to give me a 30 day trial, even though I didn't work in a clinic or have that many opportunities to try it on someone. But I, I took it to my sister and it made an incredible difference in her gait. The first time we put it on, um, and she, her balance was better. Of course, her dorsiflexion and eversion was so much better. She could walk with no person and no device for, I think, I'm not sure how many feet, but we walked for about an hour. And that was, oh my goodness, I'm, I, I don't even know how far she'd been able to walk before, but it couldn't have been more than 10 minutes or so. And she was thrilled and wanted her own right then. And I waited until I went back one more time to make sure that it wasn't just a miracle, but um, it was still working. So I helped her pick out what components she needed and she ordered her own. Um, the next time I went down there, we took it with us to her outpatient therapist and showed her and, and her clinic, they were amazed. And I'm, I haven't been back there since, but I would certainly imagine they've started a 30 day trial by now because they were, amazed at what my sister could do with it on her very um, I've also tried it on another sister that I have that has chronic SI pain uh, for oh, at least over 20 years. And uh, she is a doctor herself. So, um, and we were just kind of playing with it. Just, I just wanted her to walk in it to see if it changed in her pain at all. And we made some adjustments and eventually took the hip flexor component off and found that it tilted her pelvis posteriorly just enough. When she felt that, she goes, oh, that's where it's supposed to be. And for several days after that, she could still feel where to put her pelvis and control her pain. And we've she's walked in it a few times since then and we've played with it a little bit but now she doesn't really even i think we did it three times doesn't really even need it anymore because she knows where to put her pelvis and i would say that she controls her pain uh 80 percent more than before she tried. um i've also gone to a couple old patients uh, I tried it on uh, the mother of a patient that had recovered so much she didn't really need the new gate anymore, but we tried it on her mother with dementia that had peripheral neuropathy and uh, fall, a history of falls, poor balance, uh, poor uh, dorsiflexion, weakness, especially in her hips. And we just tried it for fun. She wasn't verbally really able to give me any feedback, but when she walked, her daughter described to me uh, how she, I mean, I saw her walk before, but she could only walk a short distance, like into a store from the car, maybe 200 or 300 feet. When she had the new gate on, she had over a thousand feet in her house with with much improved gait and balance. And she even walked so far that she was starting to get short of breath, which she never, <laughs> because she hadn't walked that far enough. So I'm excited. I've, I've shown a group of PT friends and I am excited to show many more. 
That's awesome. Thank you so much, Stephanie, for sharing that story. Awesome. Everyone, you know, like, are you feeling amazed? If you can please put in the comments amazed or what's that eye, crazy face with the eyes popping and, you know, any of those, please do, um, you know, because that it's just these stories. It's crazy. Like looking at this harness, I have to tell you guys, like looking at this harness, I'm like, really? Really? But then you guys are coming on and and um, finding all these use cases and transforming all these patients' lives. And you know what's crazy is like that that it's so simple. It's so simple and it's one device. And and what I really love is that, you know, now it's also addressing pain because I don't know about you guys, but I mean, obviously we all know about this epidemic of, you know, the opioid epidemic, but and I'm a big proponent of massage, stretching, muscle activation, but sometimes that's just tough, <laughs> you know? Um, and I mean, you guys can probably relate. Who doesn't do their stretching? Who's, whose patients never do their stretching, right? They never do. Actually, I have to admit, I got a couple amazing vets who do tell me that they do their stretching, but it's, you, you know, you wonder if they're just trying to, you know, cozy up to me. Um, <laughs> but... But, you know, now that it's also addressing pain, I think that's amazing because then we can incorporate that because so many of our patients have not only orthopedic problems or, or deficits, but, you know, there's these other uh, subsequent things that are happening, such as pain, that are limiting mobility and limiting your endurance. And so thank you, Stephanie, for sharing that because solving pain within muscular, like in addition to musculoskeletal dysfunction is like... That's pretty cool. Mm, Kathy, go for it. <laughs> that's okay as people with pain. That's all I see is people with chronic persistent pain. But when you look at how they move, which is what I spend a fair amount of time doing, especially since we've developed this new gate, is that it, it, it's from many reasons. It's from the failed knee surgeries, from the failed back surgeries. It's from, I don't know, I fell once and it's never been right since. And so, but, or I had the surgery and now my foot doesn't work. I don't have any dorsiflexion, I can't push off. And so there's some other component of your body then that has to cover for that, that still has to move you. And when you put the device on people and suddenly you're able to get them to move with a more normalized gait pattern, then suddenly the musculature that was having to carry that load goes, oh, somebody's finally figured it out. And yeah. say, my pain is gone. I mean, my pain is gone. How does that go from 10 to zero in three steps? I, you know, you're just as arthritic as when you arrived 10 minutes ago, <laughs> but there is something in the neural system that combines with the depositing some new message to your brain that suddenly your brain goes, wow, that pain is gone. And that was a really unexpected surprise with the device. Just blew our minds when we see that. But we've traveled the, the state of Michigan. We've put it on people wherever we go and we get that same response. Oh my gosh, I've had this pain since this injury or accident happened. I don't have any pain right now. And in some people, the carryover is like it might be 10 minutes after they leave me and the pain is down. It might be three days. It might be a week. It's just some sort of a muscle reset. So imagine if you were a therapist and you had this device in your clinic in your hands and, and you feel like you have this tool that could help so many more people. That is, Emma, why we are so appreciative to you and your colleagues here for letting us come forward to share what we have discovered rather serendipitously, if you will, but it, it is a journey for us that we really want to share with others. So you can see, you can make your own determinations, whether this is something that you're finding is very helpful for your people as well in the clinic. And you won't know until you try it on people. You know, you just won't know. And sometimes it's the, the person that you think, oh my gosh, if this works, I'll just be so amazed. And then it does. And you are. And so that's what's so exciting about this. Every day, it's like opening a new present to see what's going to be inside. Each person comes with their mind and their beliefs and their body. And it, if you can transpose it in like 10 minutes, yeah, it takes several minutes to put on. Yeah, sometimes it takes a time to figure out what combination of bands you they're going to be more, most comfortable in. And sometimes I try to judge that like, oh, I think I'll put this, this, and this on you. And they'll go, yeah, I liked it better when we had it this way a moment ago. Or what if we tried a band here? And then you do. And then it's like, well, that was it. You know, so it is a very amazing tool. And all we can do is say, please consider giving it a try in your clinics. Please contact us. Please reach out to us. Because 
it isn't just Kim and I now doing this and Lynn, our other partner in this, it's Martin, it's Stephanie, and it's other therapists that are joining into this journey we're on with us to try to change lives in a way as therapists, we've never had a tool to do that before. I love that. And thank you for so succinctly putting about the pain because, I mean, uh, you know, I was trying to piece together in my head, why is it also addressing the pain? Like, how is it also addressing the pain? Yeah, it, so it's it, it a researcher. Call us. <laughs> we want to know, too. We want to know. <laughs> but it makes, it, you, you're exactly right. It makes sense. It's like, duh, if we fix the alignment, if we start getting the muscles who haven't been working starting to work, all of a sudden that load is going to be relieved, and then there goes your pains. It's so simple. It's so simple. Um, awesome. So there's also another component to it though, that I see is that these people have moved without energy for so long. And I mean, you have to think that those bands actually store energy within them. You, they stretch and then they, they come back and they restore energy. So like I had a lady the other day who, um, you know, she was the perfect person to try it because she had been very active. She'd been a runner before. She had now been within a year of having surgery after surgery and and struggling and having no energy in her gait pattern. And as soon as we put it on her, she was one of those wow people because it restored her energy. Like she she wanted to run out to the truck to show her husband because she now could walk without a cane, like immediately. Like it was that transform, you know, just transformed her whole day and it, it restored her hope which is so much of what we talk about at our meetings is that so many people have got to a point where they just have no hope that they can move better ever again. And as soon as you show them something different, that it just sparks something within their brain that is like, you know, like a runner's high, like reduce, like sending out these endogenous opiates saying like, look at, we can do it. And you just flick a different switch within them. And, and you know, you can call it whatever you want to call it, a placebo or whatever else, but it's real for them. And and you know, because we so many of us work in settings where we don't have a lot of technology and we don't have, you know, we don't have a million yeah. tools, you know, I would really encourage the people in, you know, this alternative healthcare thing, like like this all came out of thinking outside of the box. You know, like having a spinal cord patient in a rural setting where you didn't have anything to treat a spinal cord patient to say, you know, I see what she can do and I see where I want to get. Now, what can help me get there? Yeah. And so, you know, that's what we all need to do every single day. And Stephanie, I love listening to your story. And you as a retired therapist, like you started practicing when you didn't have all these tools, like you had to do that. And so like, it, it's, I'm really encouraging your listeners to say, wherever you're at, you know, think outside of the box. Think about doing something a different way than you ever had before and walk into work every day thinking, <clears throat> God's going to give me something different. He's going to give me a gift if I'm, I'm willing to listen for it. And, and this is like, that's what this came out of. Martin and I had so much fun working with his daughter and just watching who she was and then thinking outside of the box together and problem solving together as we did that. And, you know, Kath and I used to work in the same clinic and like half of what's on the new gate now came out of us being in the clinic going, wait, well, what if we, what if we created a loop or what if we created ah. this? Like, ah. you know, it was initially very kind of simple only for the quad, but as we worked together and just kept, you know, well, what if we did that? And, and so like bigger than the new gay to say, if everybody did that, if everyone fell out of the side yeah. of the box every day and just dreamed, well, what could it look like? What do I have here that I could MacGyver to make that happen? Yes. And oh, so yeah. that's kind of where this came from. And that's where, you know, like if, if we're going to make healthcare, what healthcare could be as we move forward, then everybody would do that. And this team has been so darn fun to work with because can you imagine you like, usually we, we have an idea, but then we have another 20 patients that come in. And so we got to kind of forget our idea. Well, that's where Jordan and Benga come in because every idea we would have, they say, okay, let's do it. And then we kept meeting in these zoom meetings, us in Michigan and them in California. And, and then Lynn, who's not here right now, who was 
you know, really good with O and P, like they'd all create it. And then we could just, they'd say, okay, so here, go try this in the clinic tomorrow. It's absolutely been the most fascinating journey I've ever taken in this world of physical mm -hmm. therapy. And Stephanie, I, I don't think you and I are too different in age. And so it's so fun to have you on board of saying, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking outside of the box. And it just, it makes, it restores all your energy for what you do, right? Uh, well, yes. I'm pumped on, I'm pumped on two fronts. Oh, go, go for it, Stephanie. <laughs> now I want to do it again. Um, <laughs> therapist that's looking that, that, I mean, I know on some of your videos, you've said it, it can look overwhelming, but all you need to do is put it on yourself and feel what it does. And then it's like, well, of course, why didn't I think of this 20 years ago? It's, it's just an amazing, I, I don't know if I would have gotten it if I hadn't put it on, but that was the first thing that I did. And because uh, when I opened the box, it's like, oh, gosh. I, I don't know if they should have given me this. Power, <laughs> and, I, and I had it on. It was like, oh, my gosh, I had a whole list of people that I wanted to I think just to piggyback on what Kim was saying, though, is part of the system lends itself to allow you to be creative. You know, there, you, you can move bands, you can move the, the loops where, again, your anatomy comes back into play where you're kind of going, you know what, let me just try this. And you get an immediate feedback. You know, I know people will say, well, sometimes it's hard to get on or hard, it takes time to do this. I was trained in putting on kinesio tape. So you think about all the time it takes to cut, to peel, prep the skin, all, you know what I'm saying? All of those things, right? So this is, you don't have to worry about. Once you get the system or the combination that you like, you just repeat it. And then you allow your body to just feel. And, and that's what, what is so exciting because again, you see the light bulb, light bulb go off for a patient where they're like, oh my gosh, I now know what you're talking about. You know, I, you've been asking me to do this for how long and now all of a sudden I feel it, you know? And, and, and I think that's the joy as practitioners we all get in seeing someone discover that and, and seeing that they can now do something that they thought they could not do. Yeah. Thank you, Martin. I, I think what's coming, uh, you know, really strongly to me is your guys' passion for this device and the creativity. Uh, I mean, I, I would love to literally have another webinar where we go into like all the little like devices and how you came up with them and that, that'd be so cool from like an entrepreneur selfishly. I'm like, Oh, like, how did they think of these things? Um, but I love the versatility of the harness. I think that's the biggest thing that's standing out to me in this conversation is the versatility. Because you've thought of the whole chain, um, it's so versatile in literally addressing the pain, addressing the hip, addressing the knee, addressing the ankle, and therefore up the chain as well. And it's just, you know, the use cases seem like it's almost endless. Am I wrong to sort of say that? I guess we can't say endless, but nearly endless well let me just say this that in my family it's a joke because we'll <laughs> when i come home you know when we were first started to do this and i say oh i tried it on this today and i tried it on that today and then one day my husband said well do you think it would fix an earache <laughs> <laughs> well i'm not sure but because it became such a family joke like wait you you used it for that and then you had this kind of patient came in and you tried it on that and one day my pta said what exactly did we do before we had the new gate? Like, 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 what did we, do? what did we do? Because we've used it for so many different things because what you really start to understand is how somebody functionally moves and holds himself becomes so much part of what we do or what we should be looking at. I taught a course a, a couple weekends ago where I said, you know, like walking is a, is a dance and it's what we do we spent so much of our time doing. And so if we do it with no symmetry and no energy, can you see the other impact it could have on our lives? So I think that one of the things I find when we've been going out and traveling is that gait is one of those things that people like, 
they don't spend enough time really looking at it. And I think that's why the new gate a little bit scares them because they're like, uh, ooh. you know, I don't, I don't think I know gate that well. Like even when they document it, they just talk about like, well, what assisted device did they use or something very, uh, very gross in general versus specifically what aren't you really seeing? Because if you can't see it, then it's hard to fix it. Yeah. And so I think that it's really made me turn around and become much better at looking at somebody's gait and really understanding why it looks like it does and mm -hmm. what, why we should address it. That's an excellent point. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go work on my gait assessment now. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh um, no! We got a form for you, actually. Right? <laughs> I do. I've seen that. I've seen that. You have very good um, gate explanations in your website. Yes, I do. I do concur with that, and you do a great job of explaining the whole um, stance phase and all of that. So <laughs> you're exactly right. Um, well, amazing. I really think this. Like, there's so many endless use cases out there, um, and I just think like you, you all have done an amazing job. Are there any more takeaways? I know Benga I'm, and Jordan, I'm sorry, uh, us therapists have sort of uh, stolen the show from you. So <laughs> do you want to share a little bit about the new gate? <laughs> I mean, th yeah, this, this show is for therapists. So, you know, we're, we're just thrilled and wonderful to have these two wonderful therapists on our team to have an amazing ambassador in Martin and um, Stephanie, who has really just kind of come out of nowhere and has been an, um, just an amazing user so far of it. And so we're, we're really thrilled to have all of you guys as, as, as a part of our Newgate community, if you will. Uh, Jordan, do you have any? Um, no, completely agree. Um, and we just want to highlight for anyone out there listening, watching, um, that you can try the new gate for free for 30 days. You can find a form to submit on our website and we'll get it sent out to you, train you up how to use it and you can change lives. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I agree with that. And I want to shout out to Jordan and Pinka because um, just like what Kim said, you, you both are so, um, amenable to what us as therapists are saying and that's just like a breath of fresh air like poor benga he had to take all of my suggestions and all of my crazy ideas and crazy comments and he was just so great about accepting every single ideas and, and that's really why i love working with with um you and, and jordan so much because you you just are, are are appreciative of our knowledge and you respect our knowledge and i think you know, part of alternative healthcare careers is I'm on a mission. My my great co-host and, and friend Mike, Dr. Mike Chua, we're on a mission to sort of build a platform where therapists and healthcare professionals, we have greater voices than just being in the clinic. We are innovators, we are entrepreneurs, we are leaders, we are, you know, amazing practitioners, and we can do so many things. And I feel like Part, part of the reason why we feel like we don't have a big voice is maybe because we don't have enough people saying, yes, you do have a big voice. And so our mission is sort of to share that. And, and you've been so amenable to all of these therapists and myself sharing our voice and really helping us, you know, feel like we can contribute more to society and we can make a great change. So um, I really appreciate you both as being amazing um you know, founders and developers for the new gate. Thank you. Thanks. I appreciate that. And yeah, if I could just kind of elaborate on that a little bit more, you know, Jordan and I were, like I mentioned earlier, we're track guys. And so the initial device was for speed development. It was for athletes. And what really turned us on to rehab were, were really the patients and, and really the stories that we were hearing from Kim. I remember we were meeting with her every other week for uh, for a while while we were still in the athletic product, and she was just telling us story after story of uh, another patient she put it on. Every week it was someone new, and we were just like, "What's going on? Like, we got this product for athletes. We need to get this on athletes." <laughs> Meanwhile, Kim is over here <laughs> putting it on on a uh, you know spinal cord injury patients, multiple sclerosis, all all sorts of people. And, and then you know, she's telling these stories 
and they're they're really heartbreaking or they're 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 uplifting excuse me and and so it, it was just amazing to hear how something that you know was developed for one purpose is being used in, in transforming lives in in another and our, our mission is, is really to restore hope to people and you know what we've found throughout this journey is that the new gate is restoring hope and not just to the patients but there's so many people that are affected you know families caregivers you know the mothers fathers daughters everyone within that family who's connected to that patient is affected and we're really giving hope to not you know not just the patient but really the, the entire family and so what we really really take away from working in Newgate is just the the hope that it's giving people and and seeing those lives that get touched and hearing those amazing stories that's what is really what is kind of keeping us going and that that's what fuels us and so um as everyone you know who's watching this webinar has heard we've heard from four amazing clinicians who have told stories of how the newgate has um you know either impacted their their patients or their sisters or their daughter and you know the next person could be listening to this webinar right now and so um as jordan mentioned we have a free 30-day trial that, that's shown right here on the screen and so we invite um any any clinician who's out there who who wants to give this a try you know please don't don't feel that it's uh, intimidating um please give it a give it a shot because you never know you know what's the harm Awesome. Yeah, yeah, I think like when you see a, a patient who, and even think about the cost of it compared to most things, and I think one of the things, the voices that we all have uh, who work in healthcare, I, I know you would all agree with this, is how expensive everything in therapy has become. And it just seems like so wrong, actually. So like when you can take what an AFO costs and you can turn around and for $50, you can turn around and do that same thing. And I had a guy recently tell me he stopped back in to see me at the clinic. He had gotten one for his dad downstate and I kind of showed him how to use it because you know his dad wasn't going to be up here. And he said, you know, honestly, that thing changed my dad's life. And he walked into an office, a doctor's office or something, or maybe a O&P person's office. And the guy said, hey, what is that thing on your leg? And he says, oh yeah, like this is this thing. And he looked at the guy, looked at me, he goes, that thing ain't going to do nothing. And he says, ah, uh, yeah, well, it changed my life, buddy. And a youper invented it. And he says, and there's youpers, they know their crap. And, and he, it's kind of a joke is that like, we're from, you know, the upper peninsula of Michigan, we couldn't possibly know anything because we live in the middle of nowhere. But his point was, and so when you say like, we want our voice, we do, we want a voice and that voice wants to be is like, we can do healthcare better and less expensively. And the Nougat is a perfect example of that. So even this fight against, you know, like, should we try to get reimbursement for it or not? What I've told these guys from the very beginning is, let's keep this thing so affordable that people don't have to go down that road because we know what that road looks like. That looks like, you know, trying to get L codes and the expense of doing that. And it's just this road all of us are tired of. So that's kind of one of my ways of, of having a voice with this thing is saying, like, let's do healthcare less expensively and better. Mm -hmm. And and they won't even need as many visits because they can can buy this thing and now they're getting therapy all day long at home like life becomes therapeutic. So I love it. you know that's the way that we need to have a voice and um, and we're watching it happen and it's so exciting. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, everyone, for coming on. Um, I, I think that I couldn't have said any of this better. Life becomes therapeutic. Um, Kim, I agree 100 percent like this can be literally something that your patient is going to wear for the rest of their life that can change them for the rest of their life for for just the amazing good. So um, for everyone out there below, you can go to Newgate.com slash clinical trial program. Um, the Newgate.com slash clinical trial program. It's down below. Um, if you have any questions, you can put them in the chat. Benga and Jordan, they're in the group to help you. If you're on YouTube, you can put it in the chat as well. 
or just simply reach out to them. Go to their website, thenewgate.com, and email them, send them a message, um, and they're great guys. Look at them. Look at them. Um, same with Kathy, Kim, Martin, Stephanie. Uh, you know, we're here. We're approachable. We're therapists just like you, and we truly care about our patients and um, their recovery just like you. So uh, any last words? Otherwise, I-, I couldn't have said it any better, and thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The opportunity. Awesome. Thank you so much, everyone. Um, you, if you're watching, you know, a round of applause. Thank you. Some hearts uh, emojis, some thumbs up emojis for everyone coming on. Um, really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions, let us know. And we will see you next Tuesday for another amazing alternative healthcare career show. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.